It is the start of a huge weekend around the state of Alabama. We've got uh, Talladega. We've got A-Day at Alabama. A host of other events going on, too, including Stallions football, USFL, at a protective stadium in Birmingham. And that is a look at the Talladega Super Speedway. The Friday race underway here about 546 in the afternoon. And the weather has been pretty good so far. But things are going to change tonight into tomorrow morning as a Storm system passes by, and the way that we dissect this is you can almost uh, draw a line here that cuts this trough into two pieces. One, you've got the exit region, which is over here, and that's where the uplift is. And over here, you've got the entrance region of the trough around Dallas and Houston, and that's where you have downward sloping air in the atmosphere. It dries out, and tomorrow, that will be over top of Alabama. The jet stream to the west, not extremely active for the upcoming weekend, but we're going to keep an eye on this little thing out here. See that uh, next trough that's out over the Pacific feeding into the subtropical jet stream. We've also got some energy over the northern branch that's going to come south, and that may very well set up a fairly stormy start to next week. Maybe not necessarily Monday, but uh, I do think that uh, Tuesday... Wednesday and Thursday could all feature quite a bit of rain going into Friday as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to tell you about is the uh, thunderstorms to the south. These are over the Gulf. Watch the difference between what's going on in Mississippi before those storms pass and after those storms pass. So you've got storms that are down here near the Gulf Coast. Watch them here. Hardly any lightning back here except in Arkansas. Well, as the storms finally move out of the way, there's a reopened path for the gulf moisture to come back and look at those big downpours a couple of severe thunderstorms possible over mississippi this evening through friday evening early saturday morning but as all this moves into alabama it's um, really not going to be much of a big deal just some scattered rain for us something else of note this is called the southern oscillation index and it has implications for our future late april and early may that number right there the daily contribution to the Southern Oscillation Index absolutely tanked on Friday. It dropped from a slightly positive number to a deeply negative number at negative 19. Now, that's not as low as it goes, but that's a big deal. And often what we'll see is a lot more Southern Branch activity. And you have combined that with the Northern Branch of the jet stream dipping a little farther south these days, going into late April, early May. And that very well could set us up for the potential of some severe storms. Let's talk about the rain for Friday night, early Saturday morning. This is not a big deal. Uh, it may be impactful for folks camping at Talladega, but we do not have the fuel for severe thunderstorms. This is Cape, and I don't have a key on here, but suffice to say that the deep red colors are not really all that bad. That's just the bare bone minimum that we need for thunderstorms. So a few strikes of lightning here and there this evening for campers at Talladega, Oak Mountain State Park, like Gunnersville, wherever you might be. Just keep that in mind. Uh, through 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, those downpours start shifting farther east. And then after midnight, a little bit left around Metro Birmingham by tomorrow morning. Uh, I would be surprised if there's any real sort of rain around East Alabama whatsoever. And the Cape, well, it's all gone. It moves over into Georgia and the Carolinas. And Saturday's actually going to look pretty good for most of North and Central Alabama. This is what we have for the next few days. Uh, tomorrow, a pretty nice day, 74 degrees in Birmingham, 8A in Tuscaloosa, 73. We should be breezy and mild in the afternoon. Uh, for the Sunday race at Talladega Super Speedway, we're forecasting a high in Birmingham on Sunday at 70. I'd be surprised if we get all the way above 70 out at the Super Speedway. So even though 68 seems warm, it may not be as warm as it looks, especially once the sun starts to get a little bit low in the sky and on the way home, temperatures in the 60s. That'll certainly feel a little bit on the cool side. Monday is dry. Then Tuesday, we start a weather pattern that could bring some fairly heavy rain to parts of the state in coming days. Between the 26th and 28th, a good chance of soaking rain and thunderstorms. And there are questions about how this could even last into next weekend. I don't have answers for those questions yet, but suffice to say that rainy periods starting on Tuesday are going to last through Wednesday and Thursday, probably not quite as much on Thursday. Then it picks up again on Friday. Total rainfall uh, very well could be greater than uh, maybe three or four inches in some cases, although most of us are going to wind up in that one to two inch frame.
So the weekend, after having started wet Saturday morning, actually it looks pretty good going into Saturday afternoon through Sunday. Monday still dry, and then the rain's going to set in for us next week.